Curtis, is that a point gained or do you feel it's too lost? Um, I'm not sure at the minute. Um, that was a really good performance, you know, to be in front twice and to get pegged back, you know, is a feeling of disappointment, but you know, so proud of the lads. It's five unbeaten now and what a monumental effort, bodies on the line again, you know, can't ask for any more. Really, really proud of them. That was a fantastic performance. I think I think we had two shots on there, I think maybe three. Um, I thought we were we were on top for large periods and I thought we played really well and like I said I'm I'm proud of them. I'm disappointed for them that we haven't gone in, gone home with all three points. Um, we've got ourselves into winning positions twice. But my overriding um, emotion is, is, you know, I'm really, really proud of them. I can't ask for for any more. And like I said, this group is growing and growing every week. And with every positive result, we just go to that next level. And I thought today, you know, to come away to a really, really tough place. Um, like I said, you, you've all seen the pitch. Uh, it's, it's not great, and Willow's picked up an injury today. He's landed and gone over on his ankle due to the pitch. So I'm really, really frustrated with that. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of him, and I think the fans that have come to watch us today, that's the type of performance that you deserve a clap off because they've given absolutely every ounce of themselves. So really proud. We put sweat on the shirt, and uh, we represent, represent the football club with pride and honour. And as a manager, I can't ask for any more. And you mentioned the pitch, and at times. You still, your team still managed to play some really good passing football, yeah. considering it's bobbling everywhere. Yeah, we tried at times, you know, we tried to get into into Greg, be direct, and at the end, you know, with the ball's bouncing all over the place and we can't really slide that final pass in, um, I think the pitch hampered us a little bit more than what it hampered them, um, you know, and it, it was frustrating at times. But yeah, but like I said, we, we tried our best to, to play in the right areas, you know, there's no point trying to roll it out from the back and, and make mistakes back there, you know, so we played very, very direct and tried to find that little pass at the end but unfortunately we, we couldn't quite unlock them really because um, it's hard to get any quality in the final four. What were your thoughts on the penalty? I couldn't I didn't have a great view from where from where I was. I think Scouse has been a little bit over eager. I don't think he needs to make the challenge. Um, but I think his overall game today was brilliant. You know, headed everything, defended like a Trojan and um, he's only young is is Scouse. I had him at, at Whitlington Town um, and seen him develop and develop. He just keeps getting better and better and better and, and we've got a really good defender on our hands and you know, part of development is making mistakes and he, he probably won't if he had his time back again he'll just stand up and not make that challenge. But I thought the back three were brilliant, you know, Staino, Will and uh, and James Williamson put defending fantastic. You changed the shape, didn't you, from, from Wednesday, and it, it seemed to work really well. Yeah, definitely. I knew they played three at the back, um, and I wanted to go our three forwards up against their three at the back and see how they dealt with it. And I think we caused them loads of problems. And, uh, it's a system that I like, um, and it's a system that we'll probably look at again. But yeah, specifically for today, to try and nullify what they did, and like I said, I did think it worked. And your two goals, Simon Russell couldn't really have timed it. Any better could he right at the beginning? Great start. Yeah, I mean, Sai's been different class since, um, since we came. It doesn't in. stop, does he? It doesn't stop. And the, the, the good thing about someone like Sai is, I said to Fozzie during the game, I said, Simon's a proper individual. Forget football. If you had Saddam Hussein in charge of games when he was a manager, Sai would still give 100%. He's not one of them that raises his game or lowers his performance depending on who's in charge. He's not like that side. He's a proper bloke. He, he'll give 100% no matter who's in charge. And that's a real sign of a, of a, of a good person. And, uh, you know, he's, he's been brilliant for us. And, you know, I think if you're kind of thinking of what you want your captain to represent, Sam Russell represents all of it. Uh, and Greg Smith, two in two? Yeah, brilliant. Um, I think he was his knee, shin and then toe in the end. But I thought, again, his, his all-round play was fantastic, you know. He, he's such a handful. Um, and I thought it was brilliant. Again, you know, things stuck. Let's to get up the pitch, allowed us to get runners off him, and um, yeah, he's been a great signing for us. In the dressing room, he's brilliant as well. Very demanding um, from players and and staff, which I like. Um, he's got high standards, and uh, you know, we need that to filter through the whole squad. But yeah, really happy with him. He's been a great signing. And, you know, I think we've got, well, we've got 21 league games to go. You know, we just said to the lads in there, you know, I want to see what our form's like for the last 21 games. I want it to be. Promotion chasing form, not relegation form. Five unbeaten when you're when you're in a relegation dogfight is, is commendable. Now can we then go back this point up next week with three points? You go into this um, two home games now. Where does the cup? Where is it in your priorities on Tuesday night? Bottom. Will it be a totally different team? Yeah. I so said we can't afford any injuries. Um, 
no disrespect to the cup, but I, I've got very little interest in it. Uh, the game will be used for me as a as a training game to kind of look at different players in different um, roles. But the main message before the game will be: don't get injured. You know, don't go in silly tackles. Not go through the motions. That's not fair to say that. Just make sure that you know, we've got bigger fish to fry. You know, how would how would you feel if we won the cup and got relegated? I don't think anyone would be too happy with that. So the main thing is is, is the league. Okay, thank you. Thank you.